Hi, um, our viewers at Home Market TV. This is Shukri Gucher uh, coming from you, coming to you from Toronto Police Headquarters. Today, we're here today with, uh, celebrating Black History Month at the Toronto Police Headquarters with our one and only Chief uh, Sanders. Hi, Chief. Welcome to Home Market TV. Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much for taking up the time. What does Black History Month mean to you? It, it means a lot. It gives us an opportunity as a black community to understand our contributions and our accomplishments in Canada, which uh, adds to the value of Canada. And the more people learn uh, about each other, the more we find out that we have a lot of things in common. And, and so this is a great opportunity to magnify and expose that and hopefully give our young folks the energy to want to go out there and learn more, uh, add towards the Canadian values. Absolutely, we uh, we do contribute and we do give back as Canadians. Uh, what what, can, what kind of message would you want to give a young man who's watching you here today, as a role model, as somebody who is on the wrong side of the tracks? Always have hope. You know, I find that most people, um, when when you don't have hope, that's when you start to make bad decisions or the wrong decisions. Uh, Canada believes in inclusiveness. It is one of those few countries left that does that. And so there are many opportunities. You may not find them, but you have to look for them. They don't necessarily knock on your door, but there's so many opportunities that are out there. And sometimes you just need a little bit of guidance and motivation to want to move in that direction. And if you're moving in the right direction and you have a little bit of hope, you can accomplish anything. Absolutely, you're a great example of that, uh, of what hard work can, uh, can do and what you can apply, accomplish. Uh, Chief, I want to ask you uh, something about uh, not only the black community, in particular the Somali Canadian uh, black community. There has been uh, several homicides, there has been several incidents uh, from last year and this year, as you're aware of. What kind of message do you want to give? Because people want to ask questions. Why are these cases increasing and they're not being solved? Uh, that's that's the, the things that are coming from our viewers at Harmaka. Yeah, and, and I, can, I can work that backwards and I can talk to you about the ones that do get solved. The ones that do get solved are the ones where the community work with the police and they give us that opportunity to uh, make those apprehensions. Uh, these types of uh, occurrences, especially homicides, they're not done in vacuums. They're done out in the public and they're done in communities, specific communities, communities that talk to each other, that know each other. And so when a violent crime happens, there's always going to be members of the community that know. The cases that we solved are the ones where the community members who are brave, and you do have to be brave, but brave enough to say no more. Exactly. If, if we want to have a community safe, then we have to invest in it. And, and then they provide that evidence to the police, and that allows us to make those apprehensions. Community safety is something that is not just the role and responsibility of the police. Yes. We are one element of it, that developing relationships with community, community working with law enforcement, we can enhance community safety together. Absolutely. I do thank you so much for uh, keeping our street safe. And basically, one of the major things on your shoulders is keeping the numbers down. Um, we don't want to become like Chicago. Toronto does not want to become like and it won't become like Chicago because I, I strongly believe we have some of the best citizens in the country. When we look at our hundreds of different cultures and languages that are spoken, we represent to the world that we know how to be inclusive and how to learn and live and love with one another better than any other city in any world. And I, that's something that I'm very proud of. And I recognize it more when I go to other major cities. So we're, we do well because we've got the greatest citizens. Absolutely. And we have you as a chief. Thank you so much for doing all the great work. I just need few last words for you to give. Uh, there are some sort of mistrust uh, from, the, from, in particular, the Somali Canadian community towards the police. What the last few words do you want to give them? Well, our door is always open and it always has been open. If you look at us historically, um, we've started this process a couple of years ago. We have a lot of room to grow. And so work with us. Let us know what you're looking for and how we can help contribute to enhance community safety. And, and if we can work together, and we've proven that we can work together, we can uh, make any community safe. Thank you so much for taking the time, Chief Standards. Thank you. Our viewers, uh, that was a very small uh, talk and time with uh, our, our Chief, uh, Chief Sanders here at uh, Toronto Police Headquarters. Hormarka uh, TV, Shukri Abdullahi, Toronto. Thank you.